Food companies are constantly involved in product research, including consumer wants and needs, as well as technology for the future. Sun World, a company celebrating its 40th anniversary, is one of the leading breeders, growers, and marketers of grapes across the entire globe. National reporter Betsy Gibbon recently spent a day with researchers as they work to find the next big trend. This is Terry Bacon's office between grapevines and Coachella, California. It's a little high on the acid, um, but uh, I like the sugar development. True words of a researcher. He studies, develops, and monitors potential new table grape varieties for Sun World, a company specializing in the crop. Oh, I rate the juiciness, the firmness, the texture. I characterize the aroma and the strength of the aroma. When we can get that right and we can get the production right, you know, that's a winner. Perfecting new juicy flavors takes time in science. This one is uh, GR358B. Knowing only a handful will ever reach consumers. So we take the pollen from the flowers of one variety and then we would go to another variety, another variety we'd want to combine their traits. It's not very easy to get a winner. So we do a lot of crosses. We do over 600 cross combinations. And from those, we will plant about 40,000 seedlings. Then there's the process of testing them commercially, even having others come taste tests before licensing worldwide. A process that takes years due to quarantine laws in international markets. Even when you fast track a new variety is, is easily 10 years. Establishing a new grape does not just require a different palate. He's checking consistency. Because of the cost of labor these days, um, we need varieties that don't require a lot of hand work to get the bunches right and chemical inputs and things like that. That's labor with the farmer, taste for the consumer. Consumers are so much more interested in the taste experience and have really expanded their palate, which is a great opportunity uh, for us with some of our proprietary varieties that have unique flavor profiles. So that's, that's where we're working on in addition to disease resistance and the ability to plant the varieties uh, organically. The company is in the process of transitioning some acres into organic based on retail and consumer demand. Right now there's not enough supply of organic produce and grapes in particular to meet that demand. So as we're executing this growth strategy that we have in place, we're ensuring that part of that new production that's coming online is going to be organic. A job that's meant for changing times. It's a real numbers game, it really is. For the industry and consumers living around the globe. Reporting in Coachella, California, I'm Betsy Gibbon.